Thanks, Will. Well, he's called a cross between Roy Buchanan and Chet Atkins. Jim Cavalongo's brand of cowboy jazz has made him a popular favorite in Bay Area nightclubs. He and his band, the 10 Gallon Cats, sell out wherever they show up, which is not bad for a group who only a year ago started out with a handful of people in the audience. They're predicted to join the ranks of Chris Isaac and Green Day to be another Bay Area group that propels to national success. Their new album is called Loose. Welcome Jim Campolongo and the 10 Gallon Cats. Start the day, Jim. Uh huh. That's me. Susan Blake. Hi, Susan. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, sure, it was wonderful our pleasure. sound. You want to uh, introduce the other band members? Yeah, that's Joe Goldmark on the pedal steel guitar, uh, Chris Key on the bass, and Kenny Owen on the drums. And I have to ask you, where does the name Ten Gallon Cats come from? You've even got a cat on the front of your uh, drums here. Uh, I it, it, it came to me in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you live in the Tenderloin. Um, actually, no, I live in the uh, Tender Knob. <laughs> um, it's kind of between uh, <coughs> no Knob Hill and the Tenderloin. But no, it's, okay. not, it's not quite that bad. It's actually a nice place. I thought maybe yeah. it had some sort of influence to your music. Uh, <laughs> no, guess not. Not, not that I know of. <laughs> what, um, you've got your second CD out. Yes. Uh, and it is different, somewhat different from your first CD. Uh, yeah, it's got different songs on it, and, uh, no, um... But there are no vocals. Okay, I'm dying here! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, it, it doesn't have any vocals, they're all instrumental, and, uh, yeah, maybe what you're alluding to is that, uh, some of the songs are a little darker and a little bit more moody, and, uh, but that has nothing to do with you know, me living where I live, but uh, <laughs> we just, we just wanted to, we had a chance, we had kind of established ourselves a little bit on the first and we wanted to uh, take the music a little bit further maybe on the second one. So uh, that's how it's different. So uh, you guys haven't been together that long, correct? Well, about a year and a half, right. uh, 
maybe pushing two years, we've we've had the same same band. Uh, we've played in different bands together. Me and Kenny, the drummer, started playing together when we were about 14 or 15 wow. years old. So, you know, we've been playing a long time, but in, as the 10 Gallon Cat's probably about two years. What does it feel like when you hear someone say, well, he's going to reach the kind of fame of the likes of, you know, Chris Isaac? Uh, Is well, there a little bit of pressure? Uh, no, no, no pressure at all. Um, you know, uh, I, I could see myself, me and Chris hanging out, you know, <laughs> count, counting our money. You know, that's, there's no pressure. Um, so, but yeah, I'm flattered. But I, whether or not it's going to happen, I don't know. But uh, I'm flattered. Thanks for saying such that's a great. Nice well, you have thing. a great sound. I've listened to uh, your second CD. Would you play a little bit more for us? And we're going to tell folks at home about uh, some information about the band and where we can catch you. Okay, great. great. Thank you. Uh, leaving Phoenix. Sure.